Something goes wrong. Everybody knows something goes wrong. And when you get a negative review, what do you get a chance to do? You get a chance to actually be authentic and show a really a big part of yourself. They sh you can show really how much you care about your business and that you're willing to solve these problems. And that way, I think even the negative reviews are even more positive or a better opportunity than the positive reviews. Positive reviews are just positive reviews. A negative review is actually a chance for you to engage directly with this customer. I mean, and when we all started out in the hotel industry, I'm sure we all worked for this 50 or 60 year old GM I've done, and he always taught me if we had a complaint, it is the best opportunity to turn this customer around and make him a client for life by just setting it straight. Wouldn't it be great if you get a negative review and you respond on whatever it is, TripAdvisor, Suver, or any of these sites, and you do a sincere response, I'm sorry, we screwed up. But here's my phone number, call me, and I'll set it straight. Or this bathroom didn't work, I had it fixed, I took care of it. But now, here's the advantage, it's not only towards that one person, everybody else can see that you care. And that you admit, hey, sorry, I made a mistake, but I took care of it. It's a huge opportunity. Yeah, but, but, but here, this is something important, yeah. The thing that surprises me is, where are we going? Click, click, click. <laughs> there we go, the next one. Next one. There we go. Because this is hospitality, right? We're good at this. Well, but but this, this, this is, we're reaching out to strangers. And if I see the previous picture, I can't imagine that actually that is how we react. When I say, like, okay, let's go out there and meet these customers, our customers, we want to talk to them, we we're suddenly get scared because it's online. And this is how we stand in our lobbies, right? Reaching out, can I help you? This is my city. I'm so damn proud of my city. Let me show you where to go. Thank you very much for coming to our hotel. Our hotel is wonderful. Let me show you what's going on. Friendly faces, friendly smiles, we're helping out. This is hospitality, right? And now... And now... And, but, but the, yeah, but the, the thing that's so strange but, but, about this... Yeah, there's something wrong. You, nobody's afraid to do this. In his lobby, in his reception, you meet a guest in the corridor, we speak to them. Good morning, how are you? Go to the average, I'm not saying everybody, the average page on Facebook of a hotel. Here's my promo, here's my promo, here's my special offer, here's my special offer. We don't interact. Why are we afraid? Because I hear a lot of fear all the time. You know, the questions about the negative reviews. Why are we afraid to do what we're very good at in our hotels, to do that online? But, but, the, but the thing is that what well, the promise, you guys build websites as brochures. I'm sorry, you try to say like, okay, we have a web 2 website, we have interaction, you can click here, you can select this and all that. We have images that fly back and forth. That's not web 2 In some way, what you need to do is you need to reach out. Hospitality doesn't start in your lobby. It starts on the internet. It, you just said already, you agreed. Travel and tourism starts online. You don't start your hospitality online. You, somebody comes to your website, nobody in your company realizes somebody is in your website. If somebody walks into your lobby, what happens? This person can look around for, what, a minute? Before I, he gets in. No, no, Ikea is a great example. Who? I love Ikea. Oh, I, yeah. Ikea, you, you guys know Ikea, I presume. There's this little help thing called Anna, <laughs> yeah? And actually, they, they've done it in Holland, I think, right now. If you're on the IKEA website more than a certain amount of time and you don't click on anything, you get a pop-up. Hey, can I help you? I see you might have gotten lost in our website. What are you looking for? This and that. And boom, they put you on the page where that is. That's amazing interaction. No, they care about their client. It's automated, by the way. But we could, we could put a click, to call, a click to chat thing on our website. Hey, you, I see you're there. Anything else, any, anything special you're looking for? You know, it's this interaction. It's, the website, the internet, it's not a brochure. It's not about, here's what I've got to offer and sort it out yourself. We have to start interacting. We have to start interacting on these social networks. It's not about pushing out our product. It is about communicating with everybody's different. So we're going to have to find out, wh what are you looking for? What do you need? What can I help you with? But, but Patrick, what's, what's happening, I mean, we've seen this every time at the, the, the seminars. When we say, like, okay, well, you have to start reaching out. You have to put the Twitter account. You have to put the Facebook account sure. with your website and say, like, I'm available. I'll talk to you. I'm, I am here to help you. If you do that, you need to answer it, right? And that's why you guys all say, like, well, that's what we're sort of afraid of. Who's going to answer it? We don't have staff for that. 
It was we, we, small. We do. Hold on, hold on, hold on. What? We, we trust these people in the reception. That This is something I, 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 I have problems understanding sometimes. We have people, we, we hire them, we put them behind our reception. And we trust them to say the right thing to our guests. And you think we could trust them to say something online to our guests? They're probably trained, no, these people. They, they, they know how the guests are a bit. They know how to respond. That'd well, be great. The, the, absolutely. But the thing that even surprised me more, that sort of interaction in the lobby is real time. You know how the web is trying to be real time? It's not quite as real time as that. That real time we trust our employees to answer any question, right? But the other real time online we're a little bit scared of. And of course, there's some reasons for that. It's there forever, right? If you're shy, maybe you have to start doing some practicing with it. So next thing, there is obviously a disconnect. There's a disconnect between sort of like hospitality, what we stand for, what we believe in. So we say that, okay, travel starts online, and yes, we can believe in social media, and we're going to use that for our marketing purposes. There's some disconnect. And frequently what they point out is say it's the technology, right? The technology. See, the technology. And they say like, okay, well, this technology changes all the time, and we're not quite up to speed. I don't know yet quite how to use it. It takes us time to f get familiar with this. But that's, that's wrong. Let's disconnect. Uh, Let's not focus on the technology. But even the technology is easy. I mean, we train a lot of hotels. Yeah? Actually, I knew nothing about all this stuff till two years ago. I met Bart. <laughs> I spent a few days with him. I do my own website. I do my own blog. I do everything. I learned everything about SEO, online marketing, social networking, everything in two years. He's a fast learner. And it's about half an hour a day. And it's not full-time work for me. I've got a company to run as well at the same time. It's really not that difficult. And there's a great trick to it, no? Yeah. But we have to disconnect and we have to face the new reality because stuff have, has moved online. And we have to figure out, like, okay, what is different? There's a lot of things the same as we started the presentation. Tourism is social. People will like to share some stuff. But in some way, how we interact as businesses to get the most out of that, we need to figure out like what is different. And you see it like it's, it's bold, it's green, it's screaming at you right here. We have a loss of control and we need to be open and transparent, right? Do we have control of our brand anymore? No, we can create shiny brochures, beautiful websites, wonderful pictures, but what people are reading is a collection from six different websites at least. That's how they get the idea about what, what you are about. It's not what you're saying, it's what isn't the other that, people are saying. Isn't that funny? Just in general, like a description on a hotel website, it's like the average hotel description. We're a four-star, three-star property in the city center close to the airport. It's kind of the GDS marketing description, no? Why don't we go to Suver, Oyster, and TripAdvisor and read on there, find out what the guests really value in our hotel and put that on our homepage? Because that's what they're saying we're about. That's part of the interaction. I think we should talk about that more. Yeah. We should. But that, that's, that's. So, okay, so you guys that's believe one. in it. And I saw a show with the show of hands earlier. You said, like, okay, well, who's created the Facebook profile, Twitter? These are the general ones, right? Everybody's sort of comfortable with creating these, or in some way they, they have done that. And you know, with some of them, actually, you need to be quick because it's sort of like getting your URL. If somebody has a Twitter account with your business name, you can't get it back. You have to sort of like claim that. So you create it, now it's there. You have to start monitoring it. And you know, going back to the earlier question about this real-time interaction with your customers, don't say that you need more people for that. You have people that are answering the phone in two rings, right? Your real-time communication. You've trained them. When something comes in, I answer it. And, and don't tell me that you don't have computers. The people that are sitting close to the phones and sitting in the lobby, they have a computer. 